day on Alaskan ballistics, the mean arms, roller delayed, actually it's a bearing delayed, upper, 9mm, let's check it out. So, David Lucas from Enorm, we're talking about our new bearing delay up receiver system. So, we, our thought was, we love roller delay, we love those German style firearms, but they're too German, they're too complicated, they're too expensive, and too heavy. So, but we love the durability, the reliability, the, um, the low recoil, so we said, let's put that into an AR platform and uh, figure out a way to do that. So, we replaced their two cylindrical rollers with three ball bearings. So our BCG uses three ball bearings. When the bolt goes in the battery, the balls push out like that. And they lock into our barrel extension. And it, it has pockets machined into it that those balls lock into. So that gives you lock up and battery. And it's also, it also uh, creates your delay when it fires. Similar to an MP5 system or roller delay system. Mm -hmm. One thing people like about the MP5 is that it's tunable. You can change the angle that the rollers ride on. We can do the same thing. We have what's called a lifter. To take it apart, you just twist the bolt either direction. It comes apart. And this is what we call our lifter. Hallelujah. The three grooves in the end of that, that's what the balls are being pushed outward with from the inside of the BCG. So this one is a K. You can swap it to a different lifter, and that changes the angle of those three grooves. So if you have a suppressor, you have really hot ammo, or if you want to shoot subsonic ammo, you can account for all that and tune, tune your firearm based on this lifter. The system is also made to run with a standard AR-15 buffer. So yeah, so this does run with an AR-15 buffer, and then you could just use your main magazines, the exactly. PMAC conversion, and you can just put a regular 9mm upper on a regular lower and yep. run it reliably and, and have we also work with pistol mac dedicated lowers too so we're okay. not limited to um, right no spec lowers right in fact we have a block uh, we have a block lower here that we can that we'll shoot today cool uh it's the cmmg uh mm -hmm. the version that we have today but right. um the only the only um catch for the lowers is that if it's a dedicated pistol mag lower you'll need to remove the ejector right. uh, usually it's just two screws you unscrew it and pull it out and then it's ready to go with our system cool all right so indomag convert your p mag to nine millimeter gen 2 or gen 3 uh 30 round p mag body remove all the guts take the base plate off put this in it looks like this nine millimeter can be set to hold up to 30 rounds. Installing it is is easy. Just sliding the insert in from the bottom, and then put your base plate on, and you're ready to shoot. So this any AR lower with your upper can feed these and be perfectly yeah, so good. We make two versions of the end of it. We make the version that has the ejector built into it, plus with this piece that's sticking up here. Mm -hmm. That works with most blowback 9mm uppers. Mm -hmm. So most blowback 9s do not have an ejector built into them, and it's usually in the lower. Right. So our solution, if you want to use a, a mil spec lower, is to put the ejector on the magazine. Mm -hmm. So that works with most. We sell The second version we sell is the one I was just holding, no ejector on the top. And we make this for our own bearing delay upper, and it works with CMMG's radial delay system. We actually sell it to CMMG and make it for them for their radial delay.
what I want to talk about now is why you would pay $1,500 for one of these systems. $1,500 might seem expensive to somebody who's comparing it to like a Palmetto State straight blowback upper. But when you compare it to like an actual MP5, the SK5, or whatever it is now from HK, that's $3,000. The JP Enterprise's roller delay is, you know, $3,000 something dollars. The CMMG radial delayed is, you know, sixteen dollars to $1,700. So you're saving money, and you can already use the same lower that you already have. Now, I know a lot of you are going to ask, hey, is that handguard? Polymer, yes it is. It's an injection molded polymer. This one is particularly strong. The family that started Mean Arms has been doing injection molded polymer stuff for decades in Georgia. And this one they've run over with a Tacoma. I would not hesitate to pick up one of these handguards and use it like a baseball bat on an actual baseball. I think it would I think it would work. So it's very, very strong and it's also pretty lightweight. So these might be available as well. So something to look into. So this is our Mean Arms upper review video. Thanks for watching so far. Go check Mean Arms out. You guys know how to find them. Very nice people, a very great product. Highly recommend it as a PCC, especially for somebody who wants something ultra reliable that can feed all types of ammo and be tunable to all types of ammo. Very, very good. Don't forget to check out our MeWe page. Don't forget to check out our arms directory page. And don't forget to make sure you go check out those links. We're also on the new Twitter slash X or whatever you want to call it. So go check that out. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.